Hello, you wonderful people. So for today's video, I'm gonna talk about the trailer that just came out yesterday at the time of me recording this for Superman and Lois. If you haven't seen it already, I'll include a link to it in the description down below. But obviously, uh, it's a very short trailer, but it, it presents a lot of interesting things because obviously we're dealing with Superman and Lois post the events of Crisis. I mean, for one, it's pretty interesting because obviously, like, it's not an origin story. Obviously, like, Superman has already been pre-established in his universe. We already know that because of Supergirl. So you kind of get to jump in the middle of their story rather than kind of making this an origin story. I'm sure they'll probably fit, go back and forth and kind of fill in certain blanks about the Superman canon. They've done that a little bit in Supergirl, but maybe they'll probably do it to more of an extent in this uh, series. Also kind of exploring, like, you know, which villains are established and which ones aren't. Because uh, obviously we know in this universe, because of Supergirl, we know, like, for example, we know Toy Man exists. Granted, he's not around anymore continuity-wise, but... It all depends on like crisis stuff but um obviously the big part about this is you know because of crisis they have two kids and not just like babies they have two teenage kids and that to me is the very interesting aspect that you know they're telling a very i think a very different superman story once again i've not read all superman comics i'm not well versed in the comics in general so i don't know if this storyline exists but i think they're trying to do something uh very different with um superman and, and, you know and i i think that I think at the crux of this story, and I think the trailer kind of does a very good job of showcasing it, is just the struggles of balancing it all. Both, you know, Clark and Lois balancing their work life with their family life, and, you know, the problems that come with that. Because even Lois saying this line in the trailer, I like, of like, you know, people always kind of dream about their life, but they never, you know, and people never dream about the problems because, like, every life has them, though. And, you know, even the more unique ones. So, because, like, a lot of people would think, you know, he'd be on top of the world. He's Superman. But it's, like, even the more unique ones have problems on their own in many different regards. Especially because it's, like, you know, I think it's always an interesting struggle with the Superman character of, you know, living a normal life when there's so much danger out there. Like, you know, when to put your family first, when to put being Superman first. Like, it's, it's a, you know, complex situation to be in. And it seems like going into this, from what we saw in the trailers... It, their, his kids are finding out about him being Superman in the show because they're like, we've seen Superman before. Wait, you're saying you're Superman? And he kind of has to showcase it. So that means he spent his life like hiding that from them. Because I also have to think about it, like they have powers too. So that means he's been hiding it from them, which is interesting because like even using an example, like we saw Nora kind of go through a su similar thing. Like her powers were kind of taken from her for most of her life. She didn't find out she was a speedster until like early on. I mean, much later on in her life. So it's kind of a similar vein. And like, you know, will they come to resent their dad for like hiding that from them their entire lives? Because uh, it seems like obviously they've got their own issues being teenagers. But we might see little hints here and there about their powers coming out. And that might be what triggered Clark to tell them in the first place. It also seems like... Um, him and Lois, it's like, oh yeah, like their job, like, I guess, you know, and, you know, and this could probably be a commentary on a modern day. I think they might even talked about this, how, you know, a reporter's job in a world where so much, you know, fake news is out there. I, I don't, I meant to, I meant to put it in quotes just because obviously that's the terminology of people use like, oh, fake news, you know, mainstream media journalism and what that means modern day now, because that shifted that, that, uh, that, uh, occupation that career has shifted so much just in the past few years alone so them struggling with that it's going to be an interesting you know uh, aspect to see how they've dealt with it because obviously like you know this isn't no one you no one ever really thinks about how you know you have your vision of what your life is going to turn out to be but you never know until like you know life hits you so because uh you know it's it's interesting because I was watching SEN um, live yesterday at, at that time of recording this, and Winston had talked about, because a conversation about this trailer had come up, and Winston was saying, like, he's not the biggest Superman fan, with the exception of certain storylines, because Superman is this godlike being, so for him, it's all hard to really kind of get attached to this character. But I think that's what this trailer kind of showcases that, you know, what do you do with a godlike character? You show the human element to him, you know, because I think, you know, Smallville did the same thing. Granted, it, uh, I mean, I, I don't think it's just related to Superman. I think all the CW shows, DC stuff in particular, like does a really good job of showcasing the more human elements. But I think that's something they're definitely going to lean into even more when it comes to Clark and Lois, you know? Um, but... I think when you take a character like Superman, who is so powerful, you give him these human stories, kind of like they did very much, like humanized him and Smallville. To be fair, he was very grounded in Smallville, which both figuratively and literally. So I think they're bringing maybe in elements like that um, 
it's just so it's just so interesting um it just like just from the trailer alone the tone of it just seems so interesting a little different from it just it, it just it feels a little distant from the other shows to a certain extent you know just but maybe it's just because we've kind of sat with these other shows and kind of gotten to know their tone and feel and even then some of those other shows their tones and vibes and feels have adjusted you know from season to season and over the years so it's just it's just interesting uh the approach to this whole situation obviously family you know a big a big part of this um because it seems like, at least what they were, it seemed like they were insinuating, like, his parents are no longer around, which I think that's going to be a big, important role part for, you know, Clark, because his parents are the foundation of who he is. Like, he wouldn't, I mean, obviously, there's literal storylines about Clark not being raised by the kids and what that does to him, you know, the, obviously, the nurture, nature thing, but obviously, for him, it's like, not having his parents around, the very foundation of made him the man that he is today, like, he is able to be Superman because they laid the groundwork, they helped him forge his you know, believes and, you know, sent him down the path that he's on. So that's got to be probably a struggle in its own right. There's also, like, Lois's dad. Because there was someone in a mili uh, army uniform, I'm assuming that was Lois's dad. But, you know, we'll, we'll kind of have to wait and see on that. But, um, yeah, like, you know, I mean, it makes you wonder, does he... Because it's like, oh, you want that normal life, Clark, huh? It's already too late. So he must already know Clark is Superman in his continuity and everything. I, I just thought that was so neat that it's just like, when you actually look at this trailer, it's more of him as Clark Kent and less of him as Superman. And I think that, like I said, that balancing act is going to be a very interesting thing about the series. I'm really excited to check it out. So obviously this is just kind of what's going through my head, my opinions about everything. I'd love to get to know your thoughts in the comments down below. Did the did trailer excite you for this uh, show? Because I know for some people um, it changed their opinion. Like some people might not have been looking forward to it who are now looking forward to it but uh, I've always been looking forward to it hearing about a little bit of more about the show at D, um, DC fandom excited me even more and this trailer just amplified that even more so I'm really pumped to you know uh, see what the show is about but getting back to my question was what you know um, what are some things you want to see uh, from the series what are some things you expect to see let me know but really that's all I want to talk about to the next time we meet be happy be safe low light to the force and enjoy it good day and good Bye.